Okay, so today I'm just going to show, I got a, a new box from American Specialty Ammo. These guys are awesome. They have, they're just like me. They're like, whatever you can shoot out of a 12 gauge, we'll, we'll figure it out. So we've got some awesome ammo in there. I'm going to show you real quick, or after I uh, go through this stuff here real quick. But yeah, I'll show you, it's, it's freaking awesome. They're out of Ohio. Uh, so I'll put the link in the description for them. Uh, I just want to check, show you this guys real quick. So I got... There's a store down the road. It's a, it's a grocery store, hardware store. It's been in this town for like 100 years, like no lie. But they have ammo in the back. And they actually have really good deal on pistol ammo. Uh, I get like all my 10 millimeter there. I literally get that PPU for like $12 a box. I got 500 rounds this blazer yesterday for less, or right, 70, $72, I think, for 500 rounds. Which is a crazy good deal because even the Blazers are going for like uh, like $30 a box online for some of them. Yeah, I mean, I don't like Blazers. I had some of them actually split before the casings. But, you know, in case of uh, pure chaos and purging and shit like that. Uh, end of the world type crap. Whatever, you know. Still do its job. And I also got, they had, uh, I got like 500 rounds of this as a Winchester. I want to say I had one of these explode in my 92 over there once. It's the only brass ammo I ever had explode in the gun. Uh, so, yeah, I bought, like, every... <laughs> I bought every single box 9mm they had. I was like, I'll take it all. Like, all of it? Like, yeah, every single box. So, yeah, there's that. So, let's get into the good stuff. I also got my uh, extended clip of zines there for the end of the world type situation. Oh man, so we got all kinds of goodies in here. We'll go with the, the 12 gauge door buster. Actually, I had some other ones from a different company. Yeah, I want to say they were like a steel slug. Sorry, there we go. I have no idea what's in these. Okay, this one feels heavy. Oh, this one's cool. This is a double slug. Let's see, I'll get one out for you real quick. It has two slugs in there. Like, these things are heavy. Oh, sorry. Getting retarded here. Yeah, so there's two slugs in there. I, I mean, they feel heavy. I bet these things freaking kick. I'm going to try all these out, hopefully in my next video. I've just been so busy with prepping for end of the world disaster type shit. And busy at work still. Uh, oh, yeah, got some more Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath. So, yeah, it's pretty self explanatory there. It'd be fun. Uh, what else we got? Oh, the Fletche rounds. Fletche, Fletche. Whatever the hell they are. Uh, anyway, they have these things are cool. So they use them in Vietnam. Sorry, I'm getting this stupid camera here. I'm on a weird angle. Ah, uh, you probably can see them there. There's steel darts in there, kind of like nails pretty light so that's another reason i actually didn't get a chance to do any shooting i wanted to get a bunch of different targets and stuff together uh to make a decent video with all this stuff and i got some of my own stuff so these are uh exotic i guess 12 gauge rounds <laughs> i got some erotic 12 gauge rounds which is gonna be hilarious when you see them okay anyway yeah the pit bull ammo what is this Oh, this is pretty cool, I think. You can get on their website, and they have all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, so check that out. It has a, a blue slug, and there's some buckshot behind it. Now, these are some nasty rounds. I would not want to get hit by anything. So, anybody has any good ideas for targets to, to use? I have a couple ideas. Now, this is pretty cool. So, you got... Bird shot, like a pumpkin ball, I guess, and then some buckshot underneath of it. And this is what was this called here? Like I think it's called a kitchen sink or something. Kitchen sink. Mm, what do we got here now? So these are like your flashbangs. I had some other ones, uh, one of my other videos, and all I do is bang. That's really all there is. These ones are really small though. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm getting to see with a camera. Uh, I don't know. Try them out. They don't really do anything. 
It's kind of fun, I guess. Rodishin Jungle? I don't know. Something like that. Right? Yeah. Oh, pretty cool. So again, we got... I don't know what shot. It's a pretty heavy shot up top. And then some buckshot underneath. Okay, and last but not least, oh yeah, these are cool. These are real cool. Uh, this is old ball and chain, which probably a lot of people know what that is, but two balls with like a little cable between them. So yeah, there it is. That's uh, American Specialty Ammo. I think it's AmericanSpecialtyAmmo.com. I'll put the link in the description there. And... I hopefully get out here real soon. I got a bunch of videos I want to do. I had I have another barrel for my single barrel. So that should be good. Got my Ruger. Like that's literally I got that gun and I don't have a single bullet for it because uh he was all he's like, Oh yeah, I should be able to get some more in here. I was like, Okay, that's good. You know, then all this uh shit going on, like there's no ammo. I literally have zero ammo for that gun. Which is alright, I got hundreds of other guns and poly ammo for everything else, but yeah, I wanted to make a video on it. So hopefully, yeah, I don't know what's got to go on around here. We got, they just announced like they're closing every store that, you know, isn't necessary. Gas stations, food, such like that. Like literally everything is closed here. And I make an order online, but who knows how that's going to go. So hopefully soon we can do some fun stuff here.